Hi everyone and welcome to Sci-Fi Model Action. Well, what we're doing tonight is we're starting off on the Mobius Seaview model kit and I wanted to take you guys through uh, my first initial steps on starting this build up. And I wanted to show you real quick here, this is one of the things that I may not have uh, shown before on any of my Truckworks videos that I've done so far, but what I like to do is go through and look at the instruction sheet and all the plastic parts before I start building one of these model kits. And especially if I know I'm going to do something extra like lighting or some kind of custom painting or some, something like that. And so what I've done is on, on this one is I've kind of created myself this little battle plan. You won't be able to read my horrible writing here, but uh, basically a brief overview of this is uh, the first step here I've got is lighting test forward section. And what I want to do with that is I want to, uh, I've got some LED tape mounted here on the bottom side of this. Um, uh, I've got the two halves of the uh, forward section of the hull put together. And this is the floor area of the observation lounge, the lower deck. And so what I want to do is I want to lay this in here and turn these lights on and see, uh, get an idea of basically how much light that's going to give me inside this area here. I don't want to, I'm not looking for a super bright fluorescent look. This room was lit more kind of a natural looking light in the movie, kind of at room light level uh, with a kind of a warm white. So this warm white LED tape should be perfect for that. And uh, there are some darker backgrounds. There's some, when you do the paint work on this, there's some dark walnut on the walls. Uh, the floor area is kind of a dark color, so you want to make sure you get enough light in there, but you don't want to overdo it. At the front here, we're going to have this tremendously bright search lamp that's going to face forward. I'm going to do that with a 10 millimeter LED that's uh, mounted in behind this and facing directly forward. And uh, the lower section is not on here, but on the bottom of the hull piece, there's two uh, flood lamps that are supposed to be lit very brightly, too, that face directly down. And um, the area they call the sail area here, I like to call it a conning tower on a submarine, but this area right here, that requires, uh, uh, now the movie version of this ship, it didn't have the little red and green navigational lights there on each side, but I'm going to do that. The, the C-View model on the regular television series did have that, and I just thought it added a little bit of realism to it, so I'm going to add that onto this one. I'm not worried about 100% accuracy on it. Um, and we have the little lights that are out of picture here that would go at the tail section on the back of the Cadillac fins, the two white lamps at the back. And that's pretty much uh, it for the lighting on this. I might, I'm thinking about lighting some, uh, doing some lighting inside the conning tower. The conning tower is actually really detailed nice. It has all the little uh, kind of nooks and crannies molded into it. It has a little bit of uh, instrumentation and equipment that's mounted down in there. And I was looking at the movie the other night and I noticed that when they showed the uh, shot of that, they had some nice little kind of flood lamps in there, that like four of them that went around the perimeter. So that might be kind of cool to light that up too. I'll see how much work that's going to take, but uh, I might try that. And uh, but this is going to be a lot of fun. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to uh, plug my power supply in here and turn this uh, turn this uh, light on and see uh, get an idea of how much uh, light I'm going to get in there. We'll do that right now. And just looking at it here, it looks like the uh, I'm going to turn this for you a little bit. None of the wires are soldered or anything, so my wiring is a little loose. But uh, uh, you can see this is going to give me just I think. Just this strip right here is going to give me a nice, uh, it looks like it's kind of ballooning out a little bit and, and lighting this whole thing up really nice and it's a nice natural look. It doesn't look fluorescent. And I, I may put some kind of a little flat panel over the top of that that I'll scratch make out of something and just kind of give some light diffusion on that. And then the second level is going to block the light from getting all the way down. So what I'm going to have to do is put another section of lighting underneath there. But I think what I'll do, because it'll be more of a confined area, I'll put a smaller piece of... Uh, LED tape and that I'll probably use just use maybe three uh, bulbs because you can cut this tape in sections and then uh, this is the lighting that I'm going to use for uh, the tail fin area these actually fit in there I don't have the part here in front of me right now but these fit in here really nice and then uh, the wiring will run down that nice little trench that's already cut in the, the part that I showed on the review of the model kit and then uh, I'll have these recessed in there a little bit in the nice clear lens that they give you will fit right over top of that and it'll look like a natural lamp there in the back so that'll be nice. Same size LEDs, I'll use these three millimeter in red and green, mount those inside the uh, uh, conning tower sides and I'll just, I don't want these big bulbs sticking out so what I'll do is I'll just drill a tiny little hole and then I'll come in and start countersinking that from behind. I'll use a bigger drill bit. I don't want to go all the way through the plastic and I'll, I'll let this bulb sit into the plastic a little bit so just the very tip of that bulb will be kind of 
not even really above the surface uh, on the outside, but just you know a little bit noticeable, and then the light will just come through there really nice, and it won't be a big bulb sticking out, so that'll look good. And uh, so the lighting on this is not really that complicated, and I wanted to show you guys. I just love to show you how this uh, LED tape works. It's so good. Uh, like I said, uh, the Enterprise D that I'm working on over at Trekworks, I'm lighting almost the entire model with that stuff, and uh, the Reliant I did the same thing. I'm seeing that going forward here, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, using that quite a bit. It's just so much easier to do. You can cover a big area and you don't have to make all these individual connections. You, you, know, you connect a couple of wires to it and you're good to go. And it seems to uh, be pretty durable too. I've had it bent and shaped in all different kind of contorted ways and it's always worked out great. So, But uh, the instruction sheet here, it talks about um, going into the build. You start off at the uh, observation lounge area. So basically what my plan will be is um, I'll get all these parts individually painted, just leaving the edges bare where they connect together so I can glue that and make sure I don't have any issues with bonding. And then I'll touch all that up after that's assembled. And I'll look at you know what order I want to do this. I think I could build this whole cage and get it all painted and detailed and then um, set it in from the bottom side. Uh, the plan will be, like I've kind of got written down here, after I get all the lighting worked out, uh, I'm going to install the... Uh, the uh, assembly up into the hull to see if everything fits good as far as the forward section goes, the observation area. Test it again with my lighting and then if that all works out I'll come back and start assembling the hull. It's really just two halves uh, and then you've got the rear section that, that uh, connects on to that. So I'm going to build this entire thing up, um, get this all sanded, all the seams filled in, all the detail work done on it before I do any painting and then I'll connect the rear section to that, do all the seam work, do all the uh, detail work and then I'll just, this model is, doesn't have a lot of really nasty contours or uh, recessed areas or anything, so it should be pretty easy to spray it all down once it's all assembled. I'll have the windows masked off here at the front, and uh, I, I won't be, use the, be able to use the crystal clear on this one, that's for sure. Those are huge windows, so I'll probably use the included uh, uh, glass that it comes with, the plastic glass, either that or I'll, uh, maybe I'll, I'll get some aftermarket uh, stuff that's a little bit better and won't, won't scratch quite as easy and will last longer, too, and put in there some clear Lexan or something like that. But uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing all this detail. You can see they've got all the little chairs and the, the control uh, panel here. And then they've got the nice spiral staircase that comes down from the upper level to the lower. You've got little crewmen you can paint up and, and put those guys around in here to give it kind of that lively look. And it's really pretty neat. Nice handrails. They put a lot of thought and a lot of detail into this. And according to the instruction book, they put years of research into this to try to get it accurate. And uh, so it should be a lot of fun. So in the next video, I'll actually have some assembly work beginning here. I just wanted to show you guys how I kind of get started, how I do some of my planning with lighting and things like that. It's really hot out in the garage here tonight. You can probably see me sweating. I don't like to run my fans when I'm doing these videos or you wouldn't even be able to hear me. So I can't last very long today. It's about 100 degrees in here. So anyway, I'll uh, come back in a few days and we'll do a, a start on the build up here with the... Uh, uh, part of the forward section here, the observation lounge put together some painting detail going on. I think the lighting is going to work pretty slick for this. Uh, I really like that just off the bat. It's just about the right amount of light, so that should be great. And I hope you guys will check out the video series of this uh, great classic submarine sea view buildup, and we'll see you on the next video. Until then, happy modeling, everybody.